from paintings created by Renaissance masters such as Leonardo da Vinci to modern-day paintings seized by the Nazis, these pieces of art will take your breath away with their shocking stories and insane prices that combined have brought in more than $2 billion. These are the top 10 most expensive paintings ever sold. Starting up with the cheapest on the list, Vincent van Gogh's Portrait du Dr. Gachet. People worldwide are amazed every day by the works of Vincent van Gogh. Portrait du Dr. Gachet made its way onto this list when it was sold in an auction in 1990, 100 years after it was first painted. In 1888, van Gogh began to experience a mental breakdown that made him cut his ear, forcing him to visit a mental asylum where he met Dr. Gachet. Upon arrival at the mental asylum, Van Gogh asked to be sent home because he thought the doctor was crazier than him. After just two days, he wrote, I have found a true friend in Dr. Gachet. Van Gogh painted two different versions. The doctor's family kept one, and the second one was sold in 1911, where it was kept in a museum but went missing after the Nazis seized it. The painting reappeared and sold again in 1990 for a staggering $82.5 million, over $171 million today at an auction. But since 2019, no one has been able to relocate the painting. The second version sits at a museum in Paris. Edvard Munch's The Scream. The Scream was painted in 1895, and it has gone down in history as one of the most recognizable works of art ever created. It continues to astonish and awe viewers with its intensely expressive brushstrokes portraying a harrowing image of death and desolation. But what is behind this intriguingly powerful painting? What makes the scream so irresistibly moving? What makes him scream? Well, maybe the reason behind the scream might be its price, standing at an astounding $119 million back when it was sold in 2012, which set a new record for the most expensive painting ever sold. Pablo Picasso's Garçon a la Pipe, Picasso's 1905 masterpiece, painted during his celebrated Rose period, depicts a teenage Parisian boy named Petit Louis who died at a very young age. Picasso painted Boy with a Pipe at only 24 years old, and it's now considered one of his finest paintings. Last sold for $104 million, nearly $150 million today, at Sotheby's auction, this painting stands as an inspirational reminder to embrace life with joyousness, despite its ever-changing nature. Gustav Klimt's Portrait of Adele Block Bauer Wust the Lady in Gold is a timeless masterpiece by Gustav Klimt, depicting the beautiful Adele Block Bauer, as commissioned by his husband Ferdinand. Ferdinand moved from Vienna during World War II due to the rising anti-Jewish movement, which led to the Nazis stealing most of his wealth and art collection, including this one. In a seven-year heroic quest, Ferdinand's niece, Maria Altman, courageously fought to reclaim artwork and property that were unjustly taken away from her family during World War II. After a hearing on the Supreme Court, an arbitration committee in Vienna ultimately ruled that these paintings should be rightfully returned to the rightful owners. That same year, in 2006, the painting was sold for $135 million, which equates to just over $181 million. Jackson Pollock's Number 5, 1948. The masterpiece by American abstract expressionist painter Jackson Pollock broke records when it was sold. The painting has been through many changes since its creation due to slight damage during transport after being sold in a gallery in 1949. The original buyer, Alfonso Osorio, bought the painting for just $1,500, $18,000 in 2023. Now that might not sound like a lot if you compare it to the paintings we just mentioned, but the painting was sold back in 2006 by the current owner for $140 million. In today's money, that's $188 million. I know. If only we knew what paintings would appreciate over 188 million, even those who sound promising might look out of reach. But you can invest in some of these paintings by renowned artists and take a cut off this market. Thanks to our sponsor, Masterworks. You see, Masterworks has assembled a team of experts with decades of experience in the art market. They digitized records from over 50 years of art auctions to create a one-of-a-kind database and made it public for you to explore works from your favorites. Using this research, Masterworks delivered almost $26 million in total to their investors in 2022. It isn't just some new trend. Last year, art prices rose 29% at auctions, on average, per Barron's. 
Over the last 10 years, these prices surged 91%, and by 2026, financial experts from Deloitte expect the art as an asset class to increase to almost 2.6 trillion in value. Just take a look at this performance. This year alone, they've been able to deliver 10, 35, and even 325% net returns to their investors. In fact, every Masterworks exit to date has returned a profit to investors like you. So it's easy to see why 670,000 people have signed up so far, and why offerings have sold out within minutes. Luckily, Art Support subscribers can skip the waitlist at the special link in the description. Thanks to Masterworks for sponsoring this episode. Pablo Picasso's Les Femmes d'Alger, version O. Pablo Picasso captured the beauty of Algerian women in his 1954-1955 series, Les Femmes d'Alger. This remarkable collection was purchased by Victor and Sally Gans for an impressive $212,500 back in 1956, an amount equivalent to nearly $2 million today. From that original purchase, they kept five pieces amongst those, version O, the final painting in the series. Fast forward to 1997, when version O went on auction at Christie's in New York and sold for $31.9 million. 18 years later, it made another record-breaking sale totaling up to an amazing $179.4 million, 205 today, making history one of the most expensive paintings ever bought during that period. It found its home being purchased by former Prime Minister Hamad bin Jassim bin Jaber Al Thani, who got his hands on something remarkable. Mark Rothko's number six, Violet, Green and Red. Rothko's 1951 masterpiece is an awe-inspiring demonstration of abstract expressionism. Its broad swaths of color are entrancingly augmented by hazy hues, creating a peaceful yet powerful vision. So much that it commanded one of the highest auction prices in 2014, sold at a whopping $186 million, which translates to nearly $213 million today. Paul Cezanne's The Card Players. This French post-impressionist artist in the early 1890s created five stunning oil paintings collectively known as The Card Players. It's said that Paul prepared for years to paint the final big canvas. He sketched, prepared, and studied other small canvases he did to achieve this final product. Varied by size and number of players with different settings for each one, this series achieved historic recognition when it was sold to Qatar's royal family for an estimated $250 million, $301.1 million today, which at that time held its place as the highest ever paid price for a painting until 2017, a truly remarkable work of art ready to make history all over again. Willem de Kooning's Interchange. This painting is a beautiful artistic representation of transition. Kooning was one of the early artists of the Abstract Expressionism movement, the first American art movement. Created in 1955, it marked the switch from his traditional depictions of women to an abstract urban landscape, inspired and encouraged by Franz Klein's influence on the artist's technique. A painting once sold for a mere $4,000 in 1955 is now one of the world's most valuable art pieces. The David Geffen Foundation recently sold it to Kenneth C. Griffin for an astonishing amount, $300 million. Admired by many and currently on loan at the Art Institute of Chicago, this treasured artwork stands tall among history's greatest masterpieces. And finally, the most expensive painting ever sold. Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, translated as Savior of the World, is a captivating painting by legendary Italian High Renaissance artist Leonardo da Vinci. Once believed to be irretrievably lost and too damaged for accurate attribution, recent restorative efforts have led many scholars to now appreciate its timeless beauty by accepting it conclusively as an original work from one of history's most celebrated painters despite uncertainty among some leading specialists who proposed that da Vinci himself contributed only certain elements. Even then, many argue this is not an original but an overpainting, meaning that it may have been restored or changed through time, yet no one knows if da Vinci did this or if someone else touched it. The painting was sold at auction for a staggering $450 million in 2017, setting a record. Prince Badr bin Abdullah Al Saud made this amazing purchase for Abu Dhabi's Department of Culture and Tourism. Each painting is truly unique and valuable in its way. It is impossible to fathom how much a masterpiece of craftsmanship and creativity can be worth today. Countless creators have used their vision to make art that astounds millions of people around the globe. This list reveals just a fraction of them. If you enjoyed this video, 
Subscribe today and never miss out on one again. Once again, thanks to Masterworks for sponsoring this video.